Alvin Love felt he needed to be here at the railroad crossing across Elk Grove Boulevard. I wanted to pay respect. I want to pay respect to my, my nephew. I love him. And I'm going to miss him. Love says he took this picture of his nephew, Dwayne Love, just the other day. He says Dwayne was one of two people killed early Saturday morning after being hit by a train. I hate to see him go, especially something like this. It's a real tragedy. An investigation into the incident is ongoing. The Elk Grove Police Department tells us that they had officers out here responding to the initial call. However, Union Pacific has its own police department. They had agents out here too. Union Pacific will be leading this investigation. In a statement to KCRA 3, a spokesperson writes, Union Pacific is working with local authorities to understand the circumstances leading up to the incident. I just didn't believe it and I came running out here. Me and my cousin came running over and I got to like maybe like a couple steps ahead of me right here and I just couldn't walk anymore because I saw I just Gabrielle Garcia told us she was nearby when this happened and had spoken to one of the victims earlier that night. Big prayers out to his family and his friends and her family and her friends. I'm in shock still because uh, you never expect things like this to happen, especially somebody close to you. In Oak Grove, Leanne Denyer, KCRA 3 News. A really horrible story. Love says his nephew leaves behind a son. And tonight, the Sacramento County Coroner's Office has confirmed the identities of both Love and the second victim in this. Her name is 25-year-old Mariah Gonzalez. This is new tonight.